This short video shows what you can do with the recently released Universal Control feature from Apple, on an M1-based MacBook Pro together with an iPad Pro. At the end of the video, I will also show how easy this is to set up on an iPad and a Mac. My MacBook Pro has a built-in keyboard, and I have an external, two-button mouse connected to the MacBook Pro. My iPad has neither a keyboard nor a mouse. When Universal Control is enabled, moving the mouse cursor to the edge of my MacBook screen, moves the cursor to my iPad. You can see my cursor hover over the apps on my iPad screen. I can move this cursor around on the iPad by using the mouse connect to my MacBook Pro. I can launch an iPad app like PDF Expert by clicking my Mac mouse. Moving the cursor to the edge of the iPad screen, moves the cursor back to the Mac. I can even drag a JPEG file from my Mac to my iPad. Here I will drag this JPEG file to the iPad app, PDF Expert, which is already open on the iPad. It really does feel like magic. Of course, Universal Control also works with Parallels Desktop. I will open Windows 11 on my Mac. Now I will move the mouse cursor over to my iPad, and open the iPad app PDF Expert. I will drag this JPEG file over to the Mac, and drop it on the Windows 11 desktop. I can open this JPEG with the Windows app, Paint. If I just need a portion of a document, I can do that too. I will be creating a new presentation on my iPad in PowerPoint, but I want to get a graphic that is in an old presentation on my Mac. I open PowerPoint on the iPad, and then create a new blank presentation. Remember, that I am doing all these actions on my iPad, with the mouse connected to my Mac. I then move the cursor back to my Mac, open the presentation with the graphic I want, and then drag the graphic over to the iPad. It is easy to set up universal control on your iPad. Just go to the AirPlay and handoff settings on your iPad, and enable cursor and keyboard. Setting up universal control on your Mac takes a few more steps, but is still pretty easy. Go to the display settings on your Mac. Click on the universal control button, and enable all the options. Then go to the Add Display menu at the bottom left of the window, and choose the iPad you just set up. You can then tell your Mac where the iPad is physically, on the right or on the left, lined up with the top of your Mac screen, the bottom, or somewhere in between. That's it. You have now set up universal control between your iPad and your Mac. I hope you have enjoyed watching this short video about universal control on the Mac. Thanks for watching.